Wood. Sin más preámbulo, los dejamos con la talentosa Sarah Brightman. Todos. Well, just hello to everybody. I'm just hoping after these horrible times that we've been going through with COVID that everybody is all right and your families are okay and, and we all got through this. So I'm very, very happy and relieved to, to get back here. Um, I wanted to, to come back to doing shows for the, doing a show for the public. Um, with because of coming through the COVID times, I wanted to do something that was a little more sort of retrospective. So bringing back a lot of uh, pieces which people feel or my fans feel very familiar with, um, beautiful pieces by Ennio Morricone, some by by my ex-husband Andrew Lloyd Webber, things that would just sort of focus me into normality again <laughs> and uh, because of the time of year i wanted to do a concert which sort of respected that time of the year and of course it's halloween it's day of the dead so the the um the look of the show and the feel of it is very um it takes you to different worlds it's very mysterious um, it's incredibly beautiful to look at. We have done um, a few shows of it in the United States just, just recently, and it's been an incredible success. And a lot of people have said it's actually, although simpler than many of my concerts, it's one of the most effective that I've ever done. So I'm very, very happy to bring it to Mexico. Gracias. And uh, you, the second part of the, this, this lady's um, question, um, I take very seriously languages because they're part of countries' cultures. There's a reason why they sound that the way that they do. And one of the reasons uh, that I haven't sort of ventured into doing a Spanish-speaking album is because I don't feel that my knowledge when I'm singing of the, of the language is still quite good enough. So I am working on it. And I've already been talking with, with sort of um, uh, um, producers from South America who are Spanish speaking about this and it, it just is going to take me a little more time but I definitely definitely do want to do a Spanish speaking album um, for for you know these areas so so <laughs> have a little patience <laughs> thank you the thing is I don't think in in areas of uh, uh, genre when it comes to music. I trained to be a classical singer and I continue to train in that area, very hard actually. Um, but I find that what that basis gives me is the freedom to do what I want with my voice without hurting anything. And because um, I love different types of music um, and um, if I enjoy a piece, it doesn't matter which area it's from, what time it's from, um, I like to sing it if it suits me. So you tend to find that when you're that kind of artist, all of these, uh, the opera, the pop, the rock, the, all of these things tend to get very fused. And I think that's probably, um, and I have a passion for all the pieces that I sing, so that, that probably is... Um, sort of part of the success of what I do. It's very distinctive. I have a very distinctive sound in my, in my vocal. Um, do you know, it, it's, when you, when you sing pieces like this, which are religious pieces, they have a lot of meaning to people, they help us. Um, it's, I, I always feel very honored that people are listening to these times of you know, when maybe they're, they're leaving this world or else they're, they're ill or anything. It's if, as an artist, if through my work I can bring peace to people or bring them enjoyment or whatever it is that I can do, that is, then I feel I'm, I'm worth something. That is the most important thing. The thing is, when you're given the gift of a voice, it, it feels very, it's something that's very special. And you have to recognize that, and you have to work with it. 
and you have to choose to commit to it because I think if you bring joy to people, that to me is the most important thing of anything. Well, what can I say? I didn't do the, I didn't go for the trip in the end to the, the space station. But you know, through the, the training that I did and the understanding of what it means to go outwards in a way was enough because you had to go through so much and you were so challenged in the training that you, you sort of understood yourself more and understood how precious our earth is and what we can do to help it. And I did feel through that training that there are almost times when I thought, how could I even want to light a fire or do, do anything that disturbs this earth? Because I really started to understand. So I wish everybody could have this training because it would really make us think very, very deeply about our planet. Um, so, you know, I didn't reach the stars, but I've kind of reached the stars in a different way. Um, I don't know, when I first came to Mexico, which was quite a while ago, and I came to do concerts and to do promotion. Um, I had a hit here. I think I had a hit with Time to Say Goodbye. And um, I had been told by a very famous s singer from Spain who spent a lot of time that if I went to Mexico, I would be blown away. And I was. And I don't know what it was. I got out of the plane and I came here and I felt an attachment, a familiarity. And there were things here that I didn't know about. I love the sort of, uh, the culture generally makes me feel really happy. Down to the colors of, of traditional, traditional costumes, down to all the rural areas that you have, the mountains, the movies that I've watched from here, um, the way the people are, the sort of the spirituality here that you have, the deep religion um, and the hope, all of it's it's everything combined. And of course, the food is fabulous because each town you go to, you have a completely different feel. And it's such a diverse country as well because um, you know, one minute you go to an area where you've got jungle, then you've and you've got all these wonderful because I'm attached to. Uh, UNESCO so you've got these amazing heritage sites here um, and then you're in desert you're in you know amazing metropolitan areas like here um, there's very people a lot of the people that I've met and you know and, and, and a friends so incredibly educated have a very have a very um, similar sort of understanding about things as Europeans do as well. So it's very familiar to me in, in an unusual way. So it's always a pleasure um, to come here and to mix with people here and to have friends here. When I do this particular show, I have to be really, really focused because it looks beautiful, but it's, it's very, it's, 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 how can I explain it? It's, it's intimate, but it's grand at the same time. But the audience focus is on the figure in the middle. So for one hour 50 or two hours, however long it is, um, it's people are looking at me and watching me and hearing me. So um, I've created, because of the, the lyrics within the songs, various um, characters in my mind and the way that I dress as well and you know when it takes you to rock to opera to pieces that have been written a long time ago pieces that have been written maybe 30 years ago I try and take people to those times and also give a feel geographically within what I'm wearing um, how I'm positioning myself how I'm singing so it's um it was I had to put a lot of thought into this concert, and I have done, and uh, it's it's paid off because it's 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 being very well reviewed at the moment. Um, time. It's very difficult to explain time, really, um, <laughs> as uh, as time does go by in my life. I find that there is 
more to take in, more to see, more to understand. Um, you know, as a child, we're meant to be innocent and that's the time for seeing things for the first time. Actually, I find as I'm getting older, I'm seeing things for the first time. Um, so, um, and also as I get older, things become much more abstract as well, uh, which is interesting. Um, the first part of your question, and, and tell me if I'm going too fast for you, um, about um, like a biopic or whatever of my life and documentaries, that's, that's sort of in the works at the moment. Um, these things take a while to do, but that's definitely happening. Um, I think with these awards that you get, and they're wonderful because you're, you're honored and, and a country has honored you for something that you've done through a lifetime. Um, your question about whether it should have come before, I don't think about that. The, the fact is, is that it came to me and I was honored in that way and it made me feel very appreciated, uh, uh, appreciative. And I was happy that day. It was a little bit stressful because I wanted to, to try and do a, a, a speech for everybody which talks about a lifetime and all the thanks to so many people that have helped you get to where you have been. We only had three minutes, so I was a little bit stressed by that. But the actual, the actual um, ceremony I loved and I feel very thankful for it. Yes, I do. I actually, um, I work working with three artists and uh, obviously one, one being Yoshiki, who, um, a Japanese artist who's sort of incredibly well known in, uh, in Japan and, and, be st and, and fast becoming so all over the world. Um, he's more a composer and it's rather nice. We've been working with each other for quite a few years now and um, and especially in Japan. Um, and we did a movie with each other many years ago as well. Um, I also have a, I love, I love to find um, new, new talented singers. And we have a, a, a young man who isn't particularly known, but I know that he's going to become so in the future. And he has the most beautiful voice and uh, so I'm looking forward to the to the audience enjoying him. And I also have another um, uh, artist that works with me called Narches, who is a, he's a, he's a soprano. And the beauty of that is that it, it's such a, a, a rare thing to find these beautiful voices um, like his. And also it's wonderful because I'm able to do new duets that I would normally do with with the female voice and I could do these with Natchez. Um, so it's it's very varied, it's quite varied the concert in that way. It's a very difficult thing to answer. Um, I think we all know whether it's to do with our work or whether it's to do with our personal lives or our voices, we know when we're doing the wrong thing. And you have to listen very, very carefully, always to that, and adhere to it and not go there. Um, I think there are all sorts of spices in life that we want to, to uh, move towards, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that is, is right for us. So um, I tend not to get myself into trouble. <laughs> I think that, uh, and I mean, I was born in 1960, and even looking at old footage of myself in 1980s, it's different for women. And I think we've come to a time where we mustn't think differently about ourselves. We just, if, if we want to do something and we feel it will enable us to, to do the work that we want to do, or be ambitious, or wear what we want to, and, and be feel very free um, in, in our sort of going forward as women, I think this is the time to do it, and to feel easy about it, and not to feel that there's any sort of social um, sort of structure that confines us in, in any way. We're all, we all have our gifts, um, you know, 
the male species have its gifts, the female species. We're, we're all meant to blend together and to work together, all of us, in any, in any gender. Um, and that's what makes the world beautiful. So we must all be allowed to be free in that way. Um, I suppose my ide ideology is a very simple one, and especially I think it, it came to the fore, really, after this time we've been going through through COVID. I think it's very important in whatever we do in life is, is to strike a balance and, um, and to really to enjoy every moment. And I do, I think that subconsciously I've always been putting this in, into, my, into my shows and, and what I do as, as, as a professional. Um, in the, the, the messages are always about enjoy the moment, enjoy the beauty, um, allow yourself to dream, but there's a reality too. Um, and the world is, and the world that we live in, and as human beings, and all of the animals, and everything that's that's living is exceptional. And um, just just to enjoy this. To tell you the truth, actually, at the moment there is a fog, and I'm waiting for it to clear. And I think we're all a little bit in that state at the moment. There's a lot of confusion around. We've got ideas, but it's it's actually taking time for things to clear and, and, and be clear in our mind. So I'm waiting for that moment. Um, of course, I have the normal ideas of making another album, listening to new music, all of that kind of thing. But I have a feeling that something is about to open and it's going to be different. Um, purely because of the age I am and how long that I, how, how long I've been actually a, a performer. And you tend to find at this age that you go to a f through a phase where you're not quite sure what the next moment is going to be. But if you are passionate about, your, about what you do and you keep going, then that opens up to you. So I'm looking forward to that moment. Listo, chicos. Hola. Muchas gracias.